We want to bring in our in-house expert physicist, Michi Okaku, right now. And let's, let's look at what happened overnight, Michi. You saw those helicopters trying to dump the seawater on the reactor. Is that going to make any difference? I don't think so. It's like a squirt gun, using a squirt gun against a raging forest fire. They're overwhelmed. They're floundering. They just don't know what to do. They're clueless. And ironically, uh, U.S. officials are now most concerned about the spent fuel uh, reactor number four. That's fuel that had been taken out of the reactors back in November. Now, originally, officials thought that this had, had been out for some time, but this is relatively fresh fuel, which is why they're so concerned. Very concerned. Hollywood likes to focus in on the meltdown, the melted core exposed uranium. But old fuel actually is more dangerous than the meltdown because there's more radiation in an unguarded spent fuel pond than the reactor itself. So it could ignite? That's the concern? That's right. You could have a fire. It'll go up like fireworks, like Roman candles. Zirconium will oxidize with air, releasing hydrogen gas. And then when someone lights a cigarette or lights a light switch, you have a Roman candle festival. And that makes the, whole, the rest of the situation that much worse because no one can get close enough then to try to contain the damage in reactors one two and three and that's where the longer term dangers are. That's right. At a certain point they're going to have to abandon ship. It's going to be a suicide mission to go in there. Radiation levels are near lethal right now. You're committing suicide to spend large amounts of Even time Even those there. helicopter pilots going above as Martha said. That's right. That's why at Chernobyl they had lead. Lead underneath the helicopters in order to sandbag that reactor with cement. So, so what is the worst case if they can't get number four under control then, they, then that leads to further meltdowns in three. Is an, is an explosion possible? Like we saw at Chernobyl? An explosion or a melt through. Uh, we're talking about radiation being released into the larger environment. In th at Chernobyl, it was an uncontrolled release. 25, 30 percent of the core just shot into, into the air. But that can't happen here because it hasn't been active, right? Well, it can happen in the sense you have hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas can ignite, not just in the containment, but in the vessel itself and rip the vessel to pieces. And at this point, then, that would be the absolute worst case scenario you just let set out. But right now, this is at a level six, according to the International Nuclear Monitors, which is still quite far from the level seven Chernobyl. That's right. Let me explain. A level six nuclear accident like this, the French have already said, yes, it's level six. We're talking about a core melt, but the radiation is still minimal. Most of it is contained. Level seven is Chernobyl uncontrolled release of fission products, massive breach of containment, and we're not at seven yet, but we have more cores, more radiation than in Chernobyl li sitting there. But uh, bottom line, is this in the end always going to be a crisis that is limited, where the impact is limited in Japan, or could it go beyond? It'll be limited to Japan, even at Chernobyl, even though radiation went around the world. In fact, you have a piece and I have a piece of Chernobyl in our bodies right now. It is minimal, it is microscopic. So most of the damage will be contained perhaps within 50 miles of the reactor site. Okay, Michio Kaka, thanks very much again.